Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to be talking more about Uber stock because I think the really key inflection point on whether or not this is a good time to buy Uber stock. So uh, myself, I've been buying Uber stock uh, actually ever since the IPO. I've just been slowly building a position over time. We'll talk a little bit about uh, kind of a key uh, support and resistance level that we're at right now. So. Right now, uh, just uh, recording this market just opened. Uber is up over thirty dollars. So, if you take a look at this chart, um, I'm to use this. I'm using Trade.com. It's a free charting tool, guys. I use it all the time to kind of uh, look at closer deep dive analysis of stock charts. Really nice tool. Get that out in the description to all of my stock market tools. But anyway, as you can see, so what was bringing Uber stock down is simply the volume down. So they posted earnings and they beat earnings. So they posted earnings. Here, as you can see, and there's a 2% uh, earnings surprise. They beat earnings by two cents. That kind of uh, brought a lot of interest into the stock. And as you can see, the volumes back up. So one of the things that we want to see uh, when we're buying stocks at what we think is a bottom. So when I mean a bottom, I kind of mean where we think that more buyers are going to come into the stock. So as you can see, once the earnings surprise, we had quite a few green days. As you can see here, green day, green day, green day, a red day. But for the most part, we've had more green days than red days. And the important thing is that the volume is up. So if you're looking here, you can see the volume here, uh, 50, 57 million shares, 35 million shares, 33 million shares. So the volume is way up on the stock. So that's going to help bring the stock out of the bottom. And we're, we're at one of those inflection points where those whole numbers now usually these are uh, ranges where people have their limit orders and their stop loss orders uh, they enter them using usually these nice whole numbers so is this a good time to buy or not well I think this is a great time to buy uber stock like I said I'm long on the stock I plan to hold the stock for many years for me this is a great chance to buy I'm trying to buy as many shares as I can while still maintaining a diversified portfolio because We've been seeing a lot of videos about people going all in and while i think that's a really really aggressive move if you're much younger uh for someone like me i'm actually 33 years old i'm just not ready to go all in into a stock like this right now so let's just take a look at some of the new news that i've been reading lately about uber stock i just want to show you guys this really quickly so uh Uber, there's an, a new uh part of uber is called uber works and Uberworks, they just expanded into Miami. So what Uberworks is, is Uber will invite its drivers to do cooking, cleaning, or laundry gigs. So why is this important uh, for the stock and just the company in general? Well, this really kind of uh, lets people know that Uber is not just a rideshare company willing to get more invested into the overall gig economy. And this is a really, really important milestone for the company. So they had just been testing the program uh, in Chicago, but they finally moved it to Miami. So that's the second city that Uber Works is in. So as you can see, the program is mainly focused on working the traditional staffing agencies, but the company is looking for its massive pool of drivers. Wow. So basically what this means is that they're going to start recruiting drivers to handle all different types of gigs around the economy. And this is a very, very uh, bullish signal in my opinion. This just adds more revenue to the company more opportunity to bring people in using their app and things like this. So it says, uh, CEO has struggled to define what Uber is and why investors should put up with estimating their losses to justify investments in autonomous vehicles, bicycles, electric scooters, flying cars, food delivery, and groceries. And it says, CEO has drawn parallels to Amazon.com, which started selling books and now practically sells everything. It says, uh, CEO Ko Shoshashi has pitched on Wall Street doing something similar for transportation. So, guys, once again, Amazon was a uh, note was just a bookseller, and they basically just began to sell anything. And that's the similar idea that Uber is doing. So, I really think that this is a very nice point for Uber stock, uh, thirty dollars a share. Like I said, we're way below IPO price. We're it's about fifty percent cheaper than it was at the IPO. Uh, so. If you get in here, uh, you're still getting like 50% discount. And like I said, you don't, if you're not interested in buying the stock, another way to play this is to simply buy call options. You can buy long-term call options that allow you to control a lot of shares without risking as much money. So 